hyaluronic acid and shockwave therapy for knee pain. We've talked quite a bit about knee pain injuries, treatments, and different studies. Well, this is a great one showing what happens with shockwave and NSAIDs along with hyaluronic acid injections. You know, there's a lot of treatment options for your knees, and it's always finding what works best for you in each our tool and which tool works best for your condition and how can you speed this process along. You know, hyaluronic acid is putting a gel-like substance in between the knees to help take that cushion. So instead of your knees feeling like they're jumping on concrete, they feel like they're jumping on grandpa's bed, that nice, soft, springy feel that has been gone for a little while. The more fluid we have in between the knees, the less of that impact between the bones coming down to compress, but also on that medial and lateral meniscus where so many of us get pain. By softening that area up in between, it's that jumping on the bed principle. Now, osteoarthritis, that OA, is considered articular cartilage or joint cartilage condition where it starts to break down. Those forces are overwhelming the meniscus on top and also that hyaline cartilage underneath that compression point of the bone. But then we also think the subchondral bone, that area right underneath that subchondral hyaline, or that hyaline cartilage zone. And so we look at the picture to the left. We have the femur on top of those big round condyles sitting on top of that tibia, that plateau. And we have a rock and moving in between. The picture to the right is showing the meniscus, that medial meniscus on the left and that lateral meniscus on the right how that cartilage is that rubber ring to help allow that rock tip turn and a little bit of twist that happens in the knee. And if we add a little more fluid in between there, we can help take some of the strain out. Now, extracorporeal radial shockwave therapy is putting an impact into the tissue to break down fibers and trigger healing responses. So if we irritate tissue, it's gonna respond. And if we can downregulate the pain and inflammation in any condition that slows healing, and turn on those healing cells to make them repair faster, we're gonna do better. So we've seen shockwave in numerous studies increase that collagen synthesis. That's what fibers we're talking about, getting those fibers from being laid down in a bad direction to a proper direction that supports tissue. We increase the speed of those fibroblasts, those cells that help with healing and repair, and we decrease things that shut down those systems by decreasing pain through that gait control theory, where all of a sudden your body doesn't feel pain, it gives you more motion and movement, and we decrease the chemical factors that further enhance pain sensation. We're also gonna bring more blood vessels, and if we think more blood vessels, it means more nutrients, which means more healing and repair. So we're using a mechanical stimulus to trigger the healing response. We're swinging a big hammer, we're smash smashing the tissue, and gonna make it respond. I always say with any soft tissue injury, if we can touch it, we can make it better. If we can irritate it and cause pain, we know that our soft tissue treatments can help break down that bad tissue and trigger a healing response. Inside the joint though, there's more and more research being shown how shockwave therapy is affecting the cartilage and that area right underneath that hyaline cartilage, that subchondral bone. We're seeing a decrease in inflammation irritation around that knee joint and also improvements in the bone structure right near the joint complex. And the chondrocyte activity is increasing. Those are those cartilage cells, mature cells that help maintain the cartilage surface. And once again, shockwave is gonna change how muscles and tendons react and move, getting that proper fiber into the scar tissue through there. So that impact of applying a shockwave to the knee, affecting in this case, the patella tendon, to ramp up the healing repair processes while shutting off those scar tissue formation. Now, scar tissue happens in the body. It's one of the healing processes. The body comes in and slaps down a cheap patch, sometimes going, I just got overwhelmed. I need to make it through today. So I'm going to put up a temporary structure and come back and fix it. But sometimes it doesn't. And you end up with more and more of that poor healing that eventually leads to that scar tissue formation in our muscles and tendons. And what are we trying to do with Shockwave and Graston is stir that area up, mechanical stimulus to break down those fibers and trigger the proper healing once again. You know, we commonly use treatment modalities such as deep tissue laser to decrease pain and inflammation inside the joint and speed up below the healing. Graston is similar to shockwave and that it's mechanically irritating the tissue to trigger repair and functional exercises. Once you get that tissue moving, how can we make it use itself like it should? How we get the fire, pat fire patterns back 
And how do we get the muscle strength and endurance back to protect those joints for long term? You know, healing is like motorcycles. Just because it should start and run properly doesn't mean it will. And if anybody's had a motorcycle, it's great when it's working. But when it's not, it's just frustrating. And you just never know when it's going to give out on you. Well, shockwave and soft tissue treatments are definitely part of that solution, along with that hyaluronic acid. Bring the proper tools at the proper time to enhance healing and repair. Get the inside of the knee with the hyaluronic acid, that gel, to add a little bit more of that cushion and feel better. Use the soft tissue treatments to help enhance that pain-free range of motion, flexibility, and then we can burn, build strength and endurance with rehab, to finally getting that joint stability to reach our functional goals. So I hope this information has been helpful. We have much more on our website, so please like and share our videos if you found this excellent material, or follow up at robertsonfamilychiro.com for all kinds of injuries, conditions, and treatment possibilities. Thanks and have a great day.